uh, the, the going switching over to the community kind of lens, which is really what I appreciate having the conversations with you all about. Um, and I don't have an opportunity just because of the nature of where my district is. I'm northeast as well. I don't have an opportunity to do a lot of work in Henderson, but I try to get out there every time I can for either. You have wonderful events there all the time for, for family and, and all that, so I appreciate it. Um, I, I saw that you had one listed on one of your slides, and I just I, I may have missed what it was. I think it was called the Dream. Um, and I was just curious to ask more about that. What is that program? Who are you interacting with? Um, and then just in general, um, how, you know, how much are we interacting with the youth, um, the schools? Uh, and I, I've had an opportunity on many occasions to invite folk from uh, different agencies to our schools, and, and they're always very responsive. But I'm always curious to know just what's happening, you know, stuff that we don't see and we don't even know what's happening. I think it's always good education for us. Thank you. Again, Holly Chadwick for the record. Our DREAMS program, so as you know, many years ago we had a D.A.R.E. program and then that seemed to be phased out um, really kind of across the country. So what we have now is called a DREAM program, which is which stands for Decisions, Responsibilities, Education, Achievement, Motivation, and Self-Esteem. This focuses on fifth graders and we get into as many schools as we can to um, do this program. Uh, one of those things though, of course, this costs time and staffing and so we would love to be able to go into every school. We just don't get to do that every year and so we kind of have to rotate those around but that is a big engagement for us because again I think we all know the younger we start um, being part of these youth and their lives the better impact we can have as they grow up in our community uh, in addition to that you know we do the every 15 minutes program that's in the high schools and that rotates every other year we have five high schools in Henderson so one year we do three the next year we do two and then we continue to rotate each year uh, we are very fortunate to have that practically fully funded by donations and sponsorships through the city of Henderson and the, and the community of Henderson. So we are grateful for that. Um, and then our pal Jim and of course, uh, any other engagement we can do, we're always doing it. We are always in the schools for the school reading. Uh, we are asked to go to the schools all the time for different public events or, or events they're doing in their school for the youth. Um, we take our, our canines with us if they want, our SWAT unit, because they love to look at all the equipment. And again, it's humanizing the badge. And also now that we have Jinx as part of our department, who is our new uh, service dog, she will be attending those events too. And she is specifically trained to engage with uh, all community members and she does great with kids. So we are always in the schools, but I can tell you one of the biggest things we need is we are not able to touch our charter schools as much as we want. They are not part of the school district as far as school police and other things. It's very important to us that we don't lose the members of the charter schools too. Now we are actively engaged with them. The principals call if there's any issues that they need us for anything. We are always going through and checking on these schools. But for us, I would love to see at some point in time for us to develop a school resource officer that can focus also on our charter schools so that they get the attention they need also to feel like they're part of the community and we're engaging with those youth.